Whether you love them or hate them, you can't miss this episode of Life on Tour. We're following the whirlwind's life of iconic sports broadcaster Joe Buck. We'll give you an exclusive look from the booth of a baseball game to inside the ropes at golf's most recent major championship. I've always said, and I really believe this, if they tap me on the shoulder and said, you know what, we've had enough of you, so-and-so is going to sit down, people are still going to watch, whether I'm there or not. And that's the case every event I do. Nobody's there to listen to me. Everybody's there to watch the event. And that's how I try to broadcast it. I try to broadcast the way I'd want to listen to it if I was sitting on my couch, which is, hey, announcer, shut up. Let me enjoy it. I think when you're a kid and you're as close to your parent as I was to my dad, and you see how much they love going to work, I think it's only natural that you go, I, I want to do that. That looks like fun. And then it is fun. You know, I think there was a time probably when I was younger and I was doing this uh, in my mid 20s, and I was probably a little nervous, was not the word, scared. Now, you know, I've done it long enough. I've done it since 96. Uh, I look forward to work. It, it just feels like it's a, a part of my year and I can't wait to get it going. Yeah, I got called up, I kind of like a player would, in the minor leagues to do my first radio broadcast in Montreal. And so I joined the Cardinals traveling crew, and they said, well, for your first day, we're going to go to lunch. And then uh, I'm, on one hand, ashamed, on the other hand, proud to say that we went to uh, Gentleman's Cabaret. One of the people, who shall remain nameless, uh, got us thrown out out of the uh, gentleman's cabaret by throwing change onto the stage at one o'clock in the afternoon. We basically were thrown out onto the sidewalk and then two hours later I was on the bus going to do my first big league game. baseball game and I'm around ball players and I'm calling a professional baseball game for a living. I have one of the best seats in the house. And these booths and being down in the manager's offices and all that, I, I've been doing that since I was four. And uh, I'm 48, almost 49 years old. So I've been doing it now for a long time. You know, if I go back one page in my scorebook, that's game seven of the Dodgers here and the Astros here. It's a lot of room service and uh, a lot of reading and a lot of sticking your chin out. And it's probably not as glamorous as people think it, it would be. This week, beautiful week in New York, and it's our chance to show you the venue for the 118th playing of the United States Open Championship. In golf, all major championships are not created equal. 
Some are, well, different from the rest. The 118th U.S. Open is about to unfold at Shinnecock Hills Golf Club in Southampton, New York. This is home base for the next week. And we've got player guide. We've got rundowns for the shows the next couple days. We have the New York Post. That happened yesterday. And then we have my work. It says that. There's a little reminder to me every day that I walk in here to have fun. Asshole. He's so good at his job and he's funny. And if he can get let loose and be the Joe Buck that you know we all know, especially in golf, um, you know, people are gonna love him. So I'm now camera right. We're reversing it all to the US Open. Everything that was isn't. Everything that is wasn't. I'm screwed. Stop the hammering! Insane. Yeah, that Buck guy, he's weird. And I, I call him Big Boy Joe Buck. I mean, the guy's called 20 World Series, he's called six Super Bowls. I mean, when we hear Joe Buck's voice, it's a big event, and you know, you're gonna listen. In proclaiming somebody Super Bowl champions, or world champions, or US Open champion, there's not, to me, for my money, there's nothing like that in TV. What's happening? Nice to meet you. How are you? You do a great job. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Hey guys, how are you? Hi. Yeah, I, I think criticism kind of comes with living your life these days. I mean, you're you're one tweet away from being reminded how much you suck. If you want to get on Twitter and remind yourself how much you suck, if you want to put a lot of stock into somebody's opinion, that's like going to the complaint box at Nordstrom and going, hey, what, where are the compliments in here? They don't exist. I, I think you learn from the criticism. I don't dismiss it. I think a lot of it has uh, some merit, but I know when I've been equal to the moment. I know when I've not been equal to the moment. Cardinals won the World Series in 2006. I took it so far to the opposite extreme that the call sucks. I, it's, it's literally, I cringe every time I hear it. It's so subdued and boring and terrible and People think I'm rooting against their team because they get excited for the other side. That's my job. It's a glamorous life, kids. It's a glamorous life. You get some money. Yeah, I like money. You get some money. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, world? Life on tour is a lot of time away from home, um, but it's a great life. And, and I, any kid that comes up to me, young boy, young girl, says, I want to do what you do, I say, good. It, it's a great life. And there's, there's nothing I would rather do than taking an event and putting my little mini stamp on. It is gone! Steps into it, passes, close!